YouTube channel. So it is very echoey in here. Why is it so echoey? Hello? Okay, so I'm sorry for the echo. I don't know why it's echoey in my kitchen. I'm, I'm, I don't know. Anyways, so today I decided to change things up and we're in my kitchen because I went vegan and I've been vegan for three weeks, four weeks, going on my fourth week. Honestly, it's not that bad. I'm just starving. 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 Like, meat was a big reason why I- On top of the echoing, you get bird sounds because um, I have a parrot and I didn't know what to do with it. Like, I couldn't just like put it outside like I could like a dog, but like, I'm sorry, okay? I'm a mess. I got full most of the time. Like, eating meat is very filling, and now that I don't have meat, I just feel like I'm trying to stuff myself with enough, like, too much vegetables because I'm always hungry. So I'm always eating more vegetables, I'm always eating more fruit, and I'm hungry. So I'm getting very bored of the things that I've been eating. Like, I've been literally eating oatmeal, smoothies, salads, and then instead of just the salads, I put the salads in a wrap. So it's four different things that I've been eating. And I, like I said, I am hungry, I am bored. And today we're gonna change that. So I'm going to head to Whole Foods for the first time. I've never been to Whole Foods. It's 45 minutes away, but I'm bored. And I need to get some vegan, organic, you know, GMO, gluten-free, organic <laughs> foods, you know? So I'll be right back. I don't even know why I left this clip in because clearly I didn't go to Whole Foods that day. I went the day before I filmed this, but gotcha. Okay, so we're going to be making three things today. One, we're gonna be making like a zucchini meatball, like fake meatball and pasta. We're gonna be making a potato, veggie, stir fry, not stir fry, but like, I don't know what it is. And then third, we're gonna do a dessert, which is going to be oatmeal, peanut butter, chocolate chip cookies, because those are my favorite, and I haven't been able to eat them because, do cookies have, yeah, because cookies have eggs in them. You would think that one, I know what I'm doing, and two, why I'm doing it, duh. And I need something sweet because I have nothing to like eat that's sweet. So that's what we're doing today. So first things first, we need our ingredients for our zucchini meatballs. So let's get all the stuff. I don't even know why I even made this because I can't even eat pasta, but let's get to cooking. All we're missing is garlic cloves and I don't have garlic cloves, so we're gonna substitute that with garlic powder. These better be good, that's all I'm saying. Where's the recipe? Yeah, so I don't come organized, okay? <laughs> okay. Like, look how delicious that looks. It looks just like a meatball. Hello, look at that. I didn't wash my hands. We need a food processor? Oh, it's a lot of work. She a little dusty. Combine the chickpeas, garlic cloves, and oats. So three garlic cloves. Um, we're just gonna guesstimate here. This says three garlic cloves. I'm just gonna, one, two, three? I don't know. Pause for five to 10 seconds until finely chopped. Okay. I'm over it. Press the mixture between your fingers. It should hold together. Yup. Large bowl. One teaspoon of basil. Yeah, that's not even okay. Check. One teaspoon of dried oregano. Oh, yep. Two teaspoons of salt. I'm not a salt person, so I'm just gonna kinda go. Done. Two tablespoons of nutritional yeast. What is nutritional yeast? That's the question. Nutritional yeast is a unique vegetarian food with a pleasantly cheesy flavor. Wait, this is vegan, right? You would think that I would check at the store. Hmm. Uh, vegan, okay. Liar. It did not say vegan on the package. Two tablespoons. Oh, it smells good. Mm. 
Okay. Juice of half a lemon. This is really washing me out, I'm sorry. <coughs> Ew. <coughs> Ew. It's a lot of work. Wasn't anticipating this. Anticipating, anticipating. English? Not my first language. It is. One cup of shredded zucchini. Oh, I have to shred it. I just totally forgot about that. <sighs> Gosh, it's so messy. Shredded enough, right? I think that's shredded enough. Oh, that's two cups. Oh, I just did two cups of zucchini because I thought this. Hello, I thought this was a one cupper, but it's a two cupper. Okay, we'll take half of it. Preheat oven to 375. Shouldn't I have done this before? I thought this stuff like burned in the oven. I feel like I've done this before with like cookies or something and I've burnt, like it starts smoking. Like, I don't want to burn down my house. But I mean, it's telling me you can go on this paper so it should be fine, right? Oh. Smells so good. Wait. nothing like a meatball. I'm sure it's gonna taste good, but it's not gonna taste like a meatball. Vegan is like the new thing, you know? If you're not vegan, you're just doing it wrong. So, I'm just like a basic So now that the meatballs are in the oven, we're going to do the second recipe, which is a bean, potato, and veggie vegan breakfast hash. But this is what it looks like. I obviously can put these pictures on the screen, but like I'm too lazy for that. So you're just gonna look at my phone. Where is the recipe? Preheat oven to, preheat oven? Is this going in the oven? I don't have enough ovens for this. Preheat oven for what? No, we're doing all this in a frying pan. I am not putting this in the oven. Um, I make my own rules. So let's get the pan. I don't know. I'm just trying to be healthy, okay? <laughs> yes, I made a coffee. Are we surprised? Every time I wash dishes with um, a towel, have you ever seen Uptown Girls where she's like, they're in the kitchen and they're like cleaning their dishes? I'll insert the clip right here. For every single roll of paper towels that you waste, a tree in the rainforest dies. And I'm gonna die of botulism from the germs of that gunky towel, you tree-loving hippie. Yeah, so every time I use a towel, that's what I think of. I think it's disgusting, but I do it anyways because I'm not wasting paper towel because that's bad for the environment. Okay, so I went to the grocery store and there was like 3,000 different types of squashes and this is the only one that looked familiar to me and it said queen on it. I'll show you. <laughs> It said queen on it, so like I felt like it was speaking to me, so this is the squash I got. I'm pretty sure this is butternut squash. I mean, I'm pretty sure they all do the same thing. I don't really know, but hopefully it works. All right. Okay, so the recipe calls for four cups of potatoes, and I thought it said four potatoes, so I bought four potatoes. I'm not really sure if I'm supposed to peel these potatoes, but I'm not. <laughs> I'm probably using the wrong knife, but I don't care. Okay, so we have a little bit over four potatoes. Four potatoes. <laughs> We have a little bit over four cups of potatoes and I have one potato left, so we're golden. One cup of squash. Do, am I supposed to peel this? I'm sure I peel it, right? Yeah. Oh my. Okay, I'm doing this wrong. Okay. How do I peel this? Do we have a peeler? Mom? Well, I have this peeler from like 1950 I'll use. I think I'm doing this wrong. Cut it. And I'm using a glass cutting board. I know that's not good for knives, but like, this is in my house. Cooking and baking is fun. If it's kept like at a certain amount of time and I know what I'm doing. When it comes to like new things, which I need to adventure into new foods and new. Our zucchini meatballs are done. 
I need to stop doing that. That's racist. Is this what they're supposed to taste test? Not gonna lie. But it kind of tastes like a meatball. Is that weird? These are delicious. Look at that. Look, can you see the steam? Oh my God, it's beautiful. I wish I could share this with you, but I can't. Sorry. That's almost three cups. I'm gonna use it all, I don't care. What is this? I, I saw this and I was like, um, yes, I'm going to get this. I don't know what it is. Well, obviously it's a bell pepper, but. Look at that. Look at that pepper. Does it say what pepper it is? Aloha peppers. Oh my gosh, is this from Hawaii? Oh my gosh. This knife is not sharp. But like, don't ask me how to sharpen knives. That's not my forte. I don't know how to do that. I mean, I guess I could figure it out, but like, that's not my hobby. I'm not going to pick up like how to sharpen knives. I, I don't listen to recipes. I'm more of a guesstimate type person. So like, the fact that I'm actually sitting here measuring things out is surprising to me. But when it says like, stuff like this, like half a cup of mushrooms, like I really doubt that that's gonna make a difference, right? So we're using them all. Oh, like I use literally a bread knife for everything. It doesn't matter how big or small the item is, I use a bread knife. And like bread knives are long and huge. So I, I just like, I think they're the best knives ever because they have those little like ridges and they just cut everything. But they are really big and it's like, you can't really cut little things with them. But anyways, these are my first time using these knives because I don't use these knives. I just think that these are the ones that look right to use with these objects. So. That's why I'm using them. Now it says to add all the stuff. So we need 1.5 tablespoons of garlic powder. I'm not measuring that, sorry. What is this? Garlic powder. Shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. Shake your booty. Shake your booty. One teaspoon of, oh, it smells good. Onion powder. Shake, shake, shake. Whoa. That comes out real fast. A half a teaspoon of paprika, but we're using cayenne pepper because I'm just, I don't know, it just seems like the logical thing to do, you know? Oh, it's gonna be spicy. And a pinch of chili flakes, but a pinch is for people that are weak. So we're just going to, this is a lot of food. That might be a lot of oil too. Pepper, salt and pepper. Pot. I don't care if the noodles are gluten free or not. Says the girl who's currently still in pain from eating it. Like I used to, but like on a vegan diet, I just eat whatever like breads or pasta or whatever, but I'm not a big pasta person, so I'm not really gonna cook like too much. You know what, there's nothing left in the bag. Let's just cook it all. Okay. Yeah, this is definitely not gonna fit. So I'm gonna have to do like half and half. That is annoying. I should have started with the potatoes and squash, but that's gonna take a while. I didn't think that went through. Clearly not. I'm gonna let that cook a little bit. I think I'm gonna get the cookies ready because I'm not using the oven anymore. So I'll be right back. I put all the potatoes in here when half of it was already cooked and half of it wasn't. So now it's turning into uh, like a mashed potato because some of the potatoes are too cooked, but that's what you get if you want me to cook because I was just impatient and I didn't want to use another bowl. I didn't know if I had a bigger bowl than this, which I did find, but whatever, we're using this bowl. So now we are making chocolate chip peanut butter cookies. I got a cookie. Yes, so let's get our ingredients. One cup of oat. Oh, I gotta mix this, I forgot. Coconut. I'm tired at this point, so we're doing it this way. And I just realized my light's not on. <laughs> Whatever. I look very sweaty. I'm really not that sweaty. I am very sweaty. One, two, three. This is basic math, like measurement math. And I, for some reason, I just can't figure it out. I don't know. I feel like I'm doing the cinnamon challenge all over again. I, if I can find that footage, I'll put it in here, but. No, I won't. <laughs> done. Oh, pass is done. Hallelujah. I just burned my fingers. Ow! I'm just trying to be vegan. Back to the cookies. One cup of peanut butter. I gotta stop doing that. I'm sorry. 
if that's racist to people, mm, I love peanut butter. Chunky peanut butter is the best peanut butter. And if you disagree, then you're wrong. My battery's gonna die. <laughs> Cray! Um, since I can't use eggs, I had to, this, I guess this is the substitute for eggs, which was two tablespoons of flax seeds and six tablespoons of warm water, and had to whisk that together and let it set. So that's setting. I don't know if it turns into like, an egg consistency, I don't know, but I did that while I was figuring all this out and changing my battery. So, let's get back to business. Pouring that in, it smells so good. We're just gonna guesstimate. Mm, that seems right. One teaspoon of vanilla. That's good. Like a jello consistency. It is so weird. But I also forgot the um, chocolate chips. I don't know how, but we're just going to dump. If you're still here watching this disaster, thank you. Because these cookies and these meals are going to be phenomenal. So let's put these cookies in the oven. And I will be back when they're done. So these will dry. Sometimes in life, you need to fail at things to get things right. So we're gonna put these out on here to dry. At this point, I've been filming for two hours, so like bear with me, okay? To dry. To cool down, let's taste one. We'll do this one because it's falling apart. I mean, can you see that? Oh, dropping to the floor. I mean, looks pretty good. Everything's falling to the floor. Oh my God. I lied. Oh my gosh. These are so good. These are so good. That's all the vegan things I cooked today. Let's do an overview of all the goodness. Mmm, yummy. Mmm, yummy. Mmm, yummy. Mmm, yummy. So that's it. That is all the food that I just made um although i burned my fingers wait i never even tried the uh, wait a minute i never tried the potatoes oh my god shut so good okay so all three foods were a success we did the potato the breakfast potato veggie whatever it's called we did the zucchini meatballs, which were amazing, and the vegan chocolate chip peanut butter cookies. This is my first vegan cook, and I really hope you enjoyed um, cooking with me. I nibbled the whole time, so I don't need to eat. I'm already bloated. Can you slick? Ugh. I'm bloated already from eating the noodles, which I knew I shouldn't have. I told you guys I was sensitive to gluten, but... I ate it anyways, and now I regret it because I'm in a lot of pain. I hope you guys enjoyed this vegan cook with me. If you did, make sure you like this video and subscribe. Click that little notification bell so you don't miss a post from me because you won't regret it. And if you like these cooking videos, comment down below. Let me know when I'm down to do more of these videos because like I said, I'm, I eat the same things all week long. So if you make me do it, I will cook again. Although I'm sweating. My fingers are burnt and I'm bloated, but hey, it was delicious. <laughs> Bye, queens.